Hello, my name's Claire Muller and uh, I'm here to talk to you about fibre and the intestinal system. I've been using Nature Sunshine products personally and professionally for a long time now and I'm at ambassador level with the company. So let's go to our first slide. Are you clean on the inside? Now we shower every day, although how often do we stop and think exactly how clean we are on the inside? We wouldn't dream of not washing our external bodies. But what about the inside? Uh, you know, do you ever wonder how clean you are? The more we keep clean on the inside, the more we are actually clean on the outside. So any uh, body odour that is created is usually from the state of the body within. So keeping clean inside is hugely important and uh, we're going to take you through some ways that you'll be able to do that with fibre. So what is fibre? We gain no nutrients or energy from fibre. It holds no calories as it is not digested but passes through our digestive systems naturally. It's something that we should be having every single day. Although with modern life, we're eating less and less of it. Fibre provides an important function in the body as it is essential to well-tuned and toned digestive system. I don't know whether you're aware, our digestive systems can actually become quite flaccid, which means that they're just lacking in tone. Just like our bodies can be lacking in tone and you can see the evidence from the outside, our insides can be exactly the same but we just don't know because we can't see it so eating lots of fast food uh, processed foods you know lots of white foods uh, you know that, that don't contain much fiber and nutrients uh, if you had a little window and you could see inside your body you would see that the digestive system which is a, a lovely array of uh, you know cavities and uh, pipes that are not standing well on their own. What else does fibre do? It helps the body remove potentially harmful waste and toxins. We want to ingest good fibre, which means that, uh, you know, through our fruits and vegetables, not bran. And Nature Sunshine can help us with that. Now, the reason I say not bran is the fact that that you know, it's a well-known substance to take if you're a bit constipated. Now, what bran does, it, it, ir it irritates the bowel into going. So it's rather like coffee or even cigarettes. So if you're having your bran flakes in the morning or you know people that do, please consider the uh, reason why this gets you going. And it's not necessarily a positive one. Okay, so the types of fiber we've got, we've got two different types. Well, there's main, two main different types. Uh, the first one we're going to talk about is soluble fiber. And soluble fiber dissolves in the stomach, creating a sticky gel-like substance. It's like a type of glue. Uh, and this glue traps certain components of our food, fats and sugars, making them more difficult for the body to absorb. Now, uh, Soluble fibre enters the bloodstream, so it allows the body to remove unwanted fats and sugar deposits. So it's incredibly beneficial to the circulatory system. So, uh, which is which is a different function to the so, uh, insoluble fibre, which we're going to go on to now. So insoluble fibre doesn't dissolve in water or your stomach. It, when you mix it up, uh, or you you have it you will see that it's, it's very solid. It absorbs water, it increases in size. The insoluble fibre passes through your digestive system to provide bulk and moisture to stools. So if you make it up in a glass, it will form the consistency that we joke about. I, I joke to my clients and say, you know, it's, it's like wallpaper paste. And that's what it needs to be. It needs to look like that. Uh, much like if you were cleaning your drains, you would put a substance into your drain that expands. 
and uh, it pulls off the stuck congestion from the sides to clear the pipes. And that's what we're doing with our insoluble fibre. It has a gentle, natural laxative effect. It forms bulkier stools, which are also helpful in cleaning the wall of the intestines, removing wastes and promoting a healthy colon. It's absolutely vital that we have these two types of fibre and in abundance in our diet. I'll go on to environment uh, a bit later on because uh, that fibre plays an important part in helping us cope with our environment. So let's, let's have a look at the benefits. The benefits of fibre. So foods that are high in fibre keep you feeling fuller for longer. So if you're feeling fuller for longer, you're not going to overeat. Well, you're much less likely to overeat. And overeating is a problem for a lot of people. One of the reasons we overeat is because we are actually lacking a lot of nutrients. So we're actually starving. So, and, uh, you, know, it, you know, if you feel starving, you want to eat. So providing your body with the uh, minerals and vitamins and fibres and natural sugars that it requires, then you are going to feel fuller for longer, which is a huge benefit. It takes the body longer to process fibre and move it through the digestive system than other substances. So again, it's incredibly helpful and that bulk is taken with the fibre rather than bulking with possibly high calorie foods that we don't necessarily need. This means your stomach stays fuller for longer after eating high fibre foods. So again, A, you're not going to overeat so much and B, you're going to feel that fullness and bulk that uh, from the fibre that you won't need to get from, from food. So as with any network of pipes, they need to be kept cleaned with no restricted flow. One small blockage in a series of pipes can cause huge problems. So there's every reason to make sure, sure those pipes are clean on the inside. With any pipe that is allowing a liquid, or if you, if you imagine a muddy pipe, a muddy pipe is a good an analogy, pipes that need to transport mud. Now, if, they're, if it's on a go slow, some of that mud is going to dry off and stick to the sides. If it's rushing to, through, through too quickly, uh, the mud may not be at the right consistency as it comes through the other end. So if you think of your insides as a series of pipes that need to be kept clean, that's a really good analogy for you to hold, hold to. Okay, so let's go on to the next slide, which is looking at Nature Sunshine's help for us. And we're going to kick off with low clo. And low clo is the insoluble fibre that we've been talking about that swells and begins to turn to a thick gel when added to water. That's your wallpaper paste. It bulks up and passes through the digestive tract and helps to keep our intestines clean, cleaned and toned. It allows our body to rid itself of harmful toxins that we may absorb from the environment. We are actually living in a toxic soup. And we don't know it because each uh, genetic line is getting more and more capable of dealing with it. That's the wonderful thing about epigene epigenetics. It's a, it's a wonderful little switch on the genes that allows uh, the, you know, the, the, the benefits of the, the lack in our society or in our food or in our families, you know, the, the genes that uh, are possibly going to cause us problems and adapts them so that it's, it's not causing us such a problem, uh, which is wonderful. However, uh, you know, it's still a stress on the body to live in the, these toxins. Uh, they say if a, a Roman gladiator uh, who was big and strong and fought lions and tigers in the ring, if he was beamed back in t uh, or forward in time to you know 2015 in fact when I read it it was it was years ago he's been back into the centre centre of London he 
uh, genetically, they've proved that he would live for about 24 hours. So because his genes are not, have not adapted to the environmental stresses that we have adapted to, luckily. However, giving ourselves a helping hand to become even more healthy and detox from these uh, environmental issues is, is huge and low clo is a wonderful help for that. It's also helpful for people who want to lower their cholesterol and are advised to increase their daily fibre. A lot of people say, well, how do I do that? Uh, well, this is one way. Stools are usually much easier to pass and uh, they're going to be a different consistency. So, and the consistency will be the fact that, uh, you know, when you pass them, not only will they be easier, they will be cleaner. So you're going to say, possibly save on, um, you know, the toilet paper, which is, which is a really good indication of your bowel movements, actually, because, uh, you know, the easier and cleaner they are to pass, the healthier that is. OK, so that's the that's low clo. And to make it easy for you, uh, there's a measure that you can just pop into water. It's got a pleasant uh, taste to it. So it's quite appley. If you weren't too keen on it, you can uh, mix it with other juices. You know, if you make smoothies or you're having your cyanoprotein, that's what I do in the morning. I have cyanoprotein, scoop of TNT and a scoop of low clo. And that's my, my lovely breakfast most mornings. So, you know, it contains fibres from different sources, which is really handy. Psyllium hulls, apple fibre, acacia gum, guar gum and oat bran. It also, as you can see, contains a lot of nutritious Cyanopro concentrate bases, which include powders of all the wonderful vegetables and fruits that you can see there. It's sodium free and rich in potassium and potassium is something that we, you know, we can become short of, particularly if we're on medication. Uh, a, lot, a lot of medications leach uh, potassium out, particularly uh, the uh, diuretics. So it's a lovely source of that. And uh, like I said, it's a nice fruity apple and cinnamon flavour, which you can mix with water or any other juice, smoothie juice that you care to have. Right, so what about our soluble fibre? Well, we have TNT, which stands for Total Nutrition Today. TNT is a great soluble fibre, which means it does dissolve in water, so that's not going to go thick like wallpaper paste. It's just going to remain thin and easy to drink. And you can you know, this particular fibre gets to the places that insoluble fibre cannot. Uh, it helps to bind to fats and sugars in the stomach to inhibit them entering the bloodstream, which is incredibly helpful for the circulatory system. So soluble fibre is advised for people who wish to lower their cholesterol and maintain heart and arterial health. It's also a great product for children or adults who are not good at eating their veggies. Now, when we say veggies, we mean a mixture of fruit and vegetables. And we are aiming really for six to ten a day. Now, a lot of people, you know, five a day is just put up everywhere. Five a day with the environment we live in barely touches the sides. Uh, although I absolutely advocate, please still aim, you know, definitely aim for the five. But really, it ought to be six to ten. Now, if you are taking your TNT and low clo daily, then you're already giving yourself a huge head start with, with fibre, which is, takes the pressure off having to eat you know, vast amounts of fruit and veg because that's not always possible every single day. Although please consider getting at least six to 
to 10 a day, like I say. Just one scoop of TNT helps to boost your daily vitamins, minerals, fiber, and protein intake. It's lovely on its own. It's a lovely orange flavor, and it provides 18 different sources of soluble and insoluble fiber, although it is predominantly soluble. And uh, 12 vitamins and 11 minerals, which are essential for our bodies to maintain good health and of course if if you're giving it to your children they are they need to grow and uh, develop properly with the right nutrition inside them otherwise you know things can get out of balance so uh, the TNT formula contains antioxidant vitamins that really help with uh, the protection of the cells B vitamins which are essential to all kinds of bodily functions and energy and uh, also helping the immune system which all the nutrients would do and if you've got a healthy immune system then you've got a healthy digestive system because they work hand in hand and vice versa so it provides a range of minerals including magnesium Magnesium is the big, largest deficiency of everything. Every cell in your body needs magnesium. And it also contributes to normal protein synthesis and psychological function. It's, uh, it, it really can make a difference to moods and, uh, you know, mood swings and how you're feeling emotionally. And zinc, which also contributes to uh, cognitive function and moods, and the maintenance of vision. So all those benefits on your, uh, as well as getting the fibre, which is the main thing we're talking about. Uh, although, as you can see, there's many more benefits. So for our bodies to cope with modern life, we need to be taking in 30 to 50 grams of fiber which isn't always an easy task without these two guys to help us we need a mixture of soluble and insoluble fibers and nature sunshine can provide us with both and uh, like I said I don't know what I would do without mine because it's a daily intake for me and you know you can just you can feel the difference and you can see the difference you know, please get into the habit of, uh, you know, when you've opened your bowels, please get into the habit of looking and seeing what do they look like? What's the colour like? Was that easy? You know, start to, you know, consider your bowels and, you know, empty them consciously to see what's going on because it really can help so much. Uh, we often get a flatter tummy from evacuating properly and thoroughly without any straining and stickiness so you know you can many of my clients over the years have said gosh you know I've you know my tummy's nice and flat and you know I've, I've lost I've lost a little bit of weight and you know it's fantastic because uh, you know you're getting rid of a lot of what is in there that maybe may have been hanging around for a long time and it's able to come out so as you're probably thinking, gosh, you'd have to be eating all day. And in a way, you're right. Without the help of these two, you would, you would be needing to eat a lot. So both these products taken, you know, may be taken individually. However, they can also be de deliciously mixed together, like I said, with cyanoprotein or just together uh, for a fantastic healthy start to the day. And the, the, if you took the both of them, you are starting on over 22 grams of fiber. So then, if you're going to stick to around the 30, you only need another 10 in your food, which is probably about the, the five a day that we're talking about. For instance, a lot of people are quite surprised, you know, an apple's two, you know, two grams of fiber, roughly. You know, the biggest is a pear, you know, a, a really nice, good you know sized pear can be about five or six grams of fiber which is which is huge a banana is about three you know good portion of broccoli is about three so you can see it's you know it it 
adds up. So if you were just relying on your food, you'd need to eat uh, much, much like, you know, 10 of the fruit and veg. And then also whole grains on top. So, you know, if, if these are taken, you would need another 10 to 30 grams of fiber, which is whatever your body needs. And you will find out what your body needs with if you consider what's coming out. So if you take those within the daily food intake, then you can add in the fruits, the vegetables and the whole grains. And I do stress that uh, and, and really suggest that one of those whole, whole grains would not be wheat. Uh, I would suggest oats, rye, barley, quinoa, millet, those kinds of grains, which are much easier to digest, have far less gluten in, uh, because gluten, as it uh, says in the name, is very gluey. And the last thing we want to do is give ourselves all this help with these guys and then, you know, st sticky, stick ourselves up with uh, wheat, particularly white bread. Okay, so in summary, uh, it's a well-known fact that fibre plays an important part in a healthy diet. Unfortunately, statistics have uh, gone through the roof with uh, bowel conditions that uh, have been on the up for quite a while because generally many people eat less fibre than they used to, particularly if you're relying on processed foods and foods that you haven't cooked yourself from scratch using all the different ingredients. So although we gain no energy or nutrients from fibre, as we can't digest it, it helps to give our digestive systems healthy, keep them healthy and can have many other beneficial effects as well as we've seen in these slides. It's suggested for cholesterol, heart and intestinal health. Our stools will be fuller and easier to pass. We may also feel we have emptied out, which I'm sure you can all uh, know that when that happens, it's a really, really good feeling. Furthermore, high fibre foods make us feel fuller for longer and can therefore be really useful for weight management. So, I hope you've enjoyed this presentation. Thank you very much for listening. And remember, you shower every day, but are you clean on the inside?